principles of principles of an electric generator okay and the principle of an electric motor these are one mark or two mark very important questions then principle of principle of which one electric motor a motor works on the principle that when a rectangular coil is placed in a magnetic field and current passes through it a force acts on a coil which rotates continuously which rotates continuously okay this is the principle of electric motor then principle of an electric generator it is based on the principle of electromagnetic induction it states that an electric an what sorry it states that an induced current is produced in a coil placed in a region where the magnetic field changes with time characteristics of a good fuel what are the characteristics of good fuel they ask in your exam that's why first one it has a high calorific value gives more heat per unit mass high calorific value what do you mean by high calorific value they ask in exam uh, it's a what give a more heat per unit mass it's called as a calorific value second one burn without giving out any smoke or harmful gases what are the harmful gases carbon monoxide carbon particles sulfur dioxide nitrogen oxides these are all harmful gases proper ignition temperature then easy to handle and safe to transport whatever the fuels they are easy to handle and safe to transport they are uh, what good characteristics of fuels next convenient to store whatever the fuels convenient to store those are good characteristics of fuels then burn smoothly cheap and eco friendly it's a very important cheap and eco friendly is very important it is a characteristic of good fuel two marks very important question next one factors on which the resistance of a conductor depend okay the resistance of conductor depends on the following factors first one is the length of the conductor first one which one length of the conductor second one is cross sectional area of the conductor third one nature of the material of the conductor and last one temperature of the conductor if a temperature is very high then the conductivity of a conductor is very less next blood vessels and their function in your exam what they ask uh, what are blood vessels and write their functions then first one arteries first one which one arteries they carry blood away from heart they carry blood away from heart the arteries have a thick elastic walls the arteries have a thick elastic walls next one veins next one veins they collect the blood from different organs and bring back bring it back to heart okay they bring a, a deoxygenated blood from all parts of the body to heart and also oxygenated blood to uh, from lungs to heart those are veins they collect the blood from different organs and bring it back to heart they have no thick walls they have no thick walls which one walls next they have walls to flow the blood only in one direction or what the walls helps to Uh, stop the backward flow of a uh, blood then capillaries the smallest vessels having a walls the smallest vessels having a walls which are one cell thick then next one the this wall exchange of a material between blood and surrounding cells surrounding cells takes place the next one blood cells and their functions okay blood cells are plasma rbc wbc and platelets then plasma plasma transport of food oxygen carbon dioxide and nitrogenous wastes rbc rbc helps in transport of uh, oxygen why because in rbc hemoglobin is there hemoglobin reacts with oxygen turns into oxyhemoglobin and in uh, cells whatever the carbon dioxide is produced uh, in uh, process of uh, energy liberation that carbon dioxide also reacts with the hemoglobin and produce a carboxy hemoglobin returns to our respiratory system that's why rbc helps in transport of oxygen wbc fight against germs uh, uh, they helpful to increase the what a body resistance system which one wbc then platelets helps to clotting of a blood platelets helps to clotting of a blood next physical properties of a metals okay physical properties of a metals first one is metallic luster the metals having a shiny surface the metals having a 
shiny surface next one hardness metals are generally hard metals are generally hard next one malleability okay it is the ability of metals to be turned into thin sheets malleability it is the ability of metals to be beaten into thin sheets next one ductility it is the ability of metals to be drawn into thin wires those are called ductility then good conductor metals are good conductors of heat and electricity next one sonorous it is the ability to produce a sound once on striking a hard surface these are the what important properties of a metals important properties of a metals then how ozone is formed how ozone is formed and what do you mean by ozone what it's works in exam what a simple one or two marks questions they ask in exam ozone at a higher levels of the atmosphere shield the earth surface from dangerous ultraviolet rays radiations from the sun means ozone layer helpful to filter the ultraviolet rays come from the sun and what uv radiation cause a harmful effect such as skin cancer they are also responsible for uh, greenhouse effect they are also responsible for increase of a temperature global warming okay for all these cases uh, what uh, we fight against to de uh, what depletion of a ozone layer next one formation of ozone layer. how ozone layer is formed at the time of evolution at the higher levels of the atmosphere the higher energy uv radiation split some oxygen into what free oxygens nascent oxygens we call this they combine to oxygen molecule to form o3 see oxygen first of all undergo a decomposition that got gives oxygen plus oxygen and that oxygen reacts with a again oxygen molecule then what it gives it gives a ozone it gives a ozone it's a very precious thing next ozone depletion it is due to chemicals like chlorofluorocarbon cfcs cfcs are produced while using refrigerants and in a fire extinguishers where the cfcs are used in fire extinguishers and in a refrigerants okay then advantage of a ac over dc what are the advantages of a alternating current over a direct current cost of a generator of ac is much less than that of dc cost is very low compared to dc ac is low next one ac can be easily converted into dc whatever in our homes ac are there those are easily converted into dc ac can be controlled by use to chalk which involves less loss of power whereas dc can be controlled using a resistance which involves high energy loss resistance is there means high energy loss is there ac can be transmitted over long distances without much loss of energy it's a very important because first of all in india in, in karnataka in uh, joke falls the electricity is produced and that electricity is transferred to first city which one bangalore like that only uh, whatever the now nowadays whatever we are using electricity it comes from several kilometers far away whenever it, whatever, it travels a long distance more than 30 to 40 percent of energy uh, uh, loss or waste in the form of heat and resistance that's why about ac can be transmitted over long distances without much loss of energy okay these are whatever i discussed now these are the very important what uh, passing package number six questions with the some more questions i again meet you uh, uh, if these videos uh, helpful for you if you feel then share your friends subscribe and uh, give your suggestions and if you have any doubts uh, send me i uh, i try my level best to clarify those doubts in english uh, uh, very uh, easily i can explain in canada but uh, i travel i try my level best in english medium also so thank you thank you so much